Welcome to our first Emuge Franken video. The topic for today is thread gauging. So we have here a Emuge gauge and a workpiece with a cut thread. And what is being checked and how does it work? My colleague Peter will tell us. Hello together. Okay, let's start. Here do we have an Emuge plug gauge with a go and a no go side. And it works like turning by hand without a particular force into the workpiece, into the thread. So what is checked with the go side? The go side is checking the, min the minimum of the pitch diameter, the fitting, clearance and tolerance. The major diameter included form deviations in the thread. Okay. Also, the length of the profile so are all form deviations are checked, right? Not really. The, ma the minor diameter is not checked. Okay, but therefore we have a smooth plug gauge, but this you will see in the next video. And what does a no-go side check on the thread? The no-go side is checking the maximum of the pitch diameter. So what are the difference between both sides? The difference is here we do we have a red ring the go side is longer than the no-go side. It's easy to handle. So what are the number of turns that you're allowed to go into the workpiece with the no-go side? It's allowed to turn the no-go side in two turns according to the Dean ESO 1502 standard on metric threads. But that's not valid for all thread system. No. We have three turns are allowed on American thread systems according to ANSI ESME standards. And it works like with two fingers and without any particular force until it stops. So nothing for very roughness. <laughs> no. <laughs> so how can I check the number of turns you screwed it in, in the, into the workpiece? This is really easy. You can use one of the both surfaces on the handle as a reference. Okay, good to know. Turning in the no-go side until it stops. And then counting the number of turns while turned back. A half a turn. So it's a perfectly cut thread. Mm -hmm. What are the advantages of a Emuge plug gauge compared to the others? The Emuge gauges have a following ben benefits. We have incomplete threads removed. For this, for this, we have a stable thread start. Mm -hmm. We have a dirt fluid for microchips, air or emulsion can release. Okay, so turning in will be much more easier. Yes. Our gauge steel is uh, our gauge steel has a higher hardness as the standard requires. Okay. So we have a higher wear resistance. Mm -hmm. Our gauge steel also is let's say H gauge steel, so extremely true to dimension. So how can the tool life be further increased of a thread gauge? Here we have the possibility to put a tin coating over the, the go side, so we have a very, really wear resistant on the gauge. So it's for a daily use and less wear. Yes, you can use it a lot of times without any wear. So, also, our gauges are produced in our main factory in Lauf. That sounds good. And I think you have everything learned about the thread gauging today. Thank you for your explanation, Peter. And if you like, you can follow us on our YouTube channel, on Instagram or visit on our website. On the next video, we will checking the core dimension of the thread. Bye bye. See you the next bye. time. Bye. See you.